One person is dead and two are injured after what appears to be an attempted murder-suicide in Washington County. Sheriff's officials responded to a domestic disturbance in New Hope that turned violent and led to a nine-hour standoff. News Channel 7's Dekevion Goss spoke with the sheriff and neighbors about what happened. We heard the police say, Mr. So-and-so, uh, come out with your hands up. We've got you surrounded. Around 11.30 Tuesday night, the Washington County Sheriff's Office responded to a domestic dispute on Shellport Road in Vernon. We're told the victim, girlfriend of 55-year-old Hugh Lynn Brown, called her mother and was leaving the home with several of her children. That's when the sheriff says shots rang out. He struck the girlfriend's mother, um, we think, three times. Um, and he struck a two-year-old two child that was in the car one time with a um, grazing bullet to the face. Neighbors of the victim say the shots were so close they thought they were aimed in their backyard. Then they heard boom, 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 boom shots. You know, he said about 15 shots, 16 shots. That sounded like it was two different guns. And so what he did is he got up and he went outside to, you know, make sure because he thought, hey, somebody's shooting my dog. And uh, he said it sounded like it was just right there in the yard. But the noises didn't stop there. And then at about 5 o'clock this morning, I got up because I kept hearing something that sounded like a drone you know, going around my trailer. What well, the neighbor would soon find out, that noise was a helicopter being used in search for Brown. Deputies say Brown shot at his girlfriend's car as he was trying to get away with her family. They say Brown then ran to a neighbor's house and barricaded himself inside. What started next was a nine-hour standoff. We were able to figure out, you know, where he was at, located him, and then um, we set up a perimeter and gave him every opportunity to, to the point about nine hours worth to surrender to law enforcement. And this thing ended a few minutes ago with Mr. Brown taking his own life. The two victims are expected to survive. In Washington County, the Kivion Goss, News Channel 7. As of right now, no one is expected to be charged, but this investigation is still ongoing.